Hey, you're live. You want to get ready? What? We're oh, live? You're live. We are live here with Product Patrol. I'm Joey Leto Jr. And I have to even think about my name here. And tonight's episode is going to be all about survival gear and zombie apocalypse prepping. Um, I don't know where Cheeks is right now. Uh, Cheeks, you in the house? Cheeks is easy. Yeah, he's trying to communicate with the uh, headquarters right now. Um, so we have quite a few things that we want to show people out there. Uh, when Cheeks comes back, uh, he's going to do all the computer things and then answer all your questions because I don't know anything about his computer and stuff. So I'm more uh, outsy doorsy woodsman type of person. But as you can see, uh, you know, you can get uh, bulletproof vests, uh, you know, all all purpose vests. Uh, these kind of vests are really good to have tons of pockets on them. You can just put anything you want in them and stuff. They're really cool, really cool. Um, you know, if I was ready to go, which I am, at any given time, I have all my stuff packed usually. I have backpacks packed. I have cases packed. I got food. I got things to protect me with and my family, like from, say, uh, radiation and stuff like that. I have uh, – it's it's unbelievable. I Over the years, I've just accumulated all this uh, stuff. My wife would say all this crap, but – if something did happen, you know, well, we're ready and other people aren't. You know, you got uh, these uh, real uh, SWAT gear uh, knee pads, knees, feet, elbows, major things like that. Your joints are so important to protect, you know. I would definitely put these on all the time. Uh, if I'm out and if I'm ready to leave the house, I would put these on right away. Protect my knees. You never know when you have to go down. Older I get, my knees are running out, you know. And these are the real SWAT gear stuff. Um, you know, boots, big time. So important. Your footwear, unbelievable. You can get really good hiking boots at, um, what is that place called beside uh, Canadian Tire? Usually uh, Markswork Warehouse. They have great boots. But then you can also go online and you can get, you can buy military boots and stuff. You can go to uh, military uh, surplus stores and buy a whole bunch of gear and stuff. Um, like this right here, this is, this is a great, uh, this is like real American um uh, I believe it's the Navy gear that they have. I'm not too sure. Um, this top is so durable. It's like you can't rip it. It's so awesome. And uh, it's a little hot, but it's really good. Like it keeps you warm. And when it's cold outside, I don't even have it. I wouldn't have no shirt underneath. And I just have this. It's like so hot. Um, I see Cheeks uh, coming in. He's uh, He's on his way in. He's still on the military phone there. Holy, that's a serious military phone, Cheeks. Joey, I was trying to put in our location here. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know if this phone is a military grade, grade or <laughs> they've cut off or we're not getting the signal. So I'm going to keep trying that. But uh, yeah, we're putting in our location. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Cheeks here. Welcome to Friday Night Live on Product Patrol. I got Joey Leda Jr. tonight. And you know what? We have a special show for you guys because you know what? Everyone's talking about prepping products, you know, all kind of those things. And you can find them everywhere now on Amazon. And even camera ladies bought yeah. some cool stuff. And, you know, just people are thinking about camping stuff. You know, outside gear, you name it. It's out there and people are scooping it up like crazy. Even that, uh, you know, like compasses, uh, water purification, oh. you know what I mean? Clothing. You said I got it. You know, backpacks and everything. So, Clothing uh, is a major thing. Look at the, look at the shirt that Cheeks here is wearing. This Green shirt, is it. Well, it's not just the color. I have a black one exactly like this, but this is what military wear. Uh, you can look at the actually the Russian military wear exactly like this. And this thing keeps you cool in the summer, keeps you hot in the wintertime. It's awesome. I love this, these things. I have a green one, a black one, and I wear them whenever I'm out in the woods and stuff like that. It's great. So let's just go to the board quickly before we get started. Liat is on the board saying love the attire. And 
Lisa, hello, Lisa. Welcome to the show. Hey, Thanks Lisa. for showing up tonight. She says, hello, Cheeks and Joey. And Lisa uh, Liette says, hi, Lisa. Lisa says, you look like you're ready to go in the army, Joey. <laughs> Yeah, yeah you got the yeah. gear, baby. Joey's got he's got the the gear going on. Like, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna watch I'm, out. I'm prepped. I'm prepped. He's prepped. I even actually took my gun holster off. <laughs> <laughs> he's got it going on tonight here. And what do we got to show? Oh, I think we're fuzzing here. Well, we are. It's, the uh, this light is actually bouncing off the top of your head. Is it? <laughs> 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 That's some crazy light. Some oh, it was light. it was your uh, your gear. Is uh, no, we're back. Looks like we're good now again. Yeah, I just I moved the light back a little. Okay, there you go. There we have it. Yeah, so uh, we have to just keep an eye on that. It must be all the uh, military frequencies that are going on right now. <laughs> Camouflage. Camouflage. So great weather here in Toronto. Basically, it's Beautiful. been a warm week. Beautiful. So uh, you can today, baby. you can uh, get out the gear and start practice outside and air it out if you need to air it out. But uh, so show and tell for what you got? Well, this is just like a basic bag, you know, thickies. That's just like when you go uh, light, a high school light uh, camo, light camo. You can buy your regular backpack, right? high school backpack. Yeah, right? you know, yep. so you know, people are buying stuff like that. They love that camo gear, and then you want to step it up a notch. Look at that. This is camera lady's bag. She was so proud of this. <laughs> now it kind of looks like like a, a cool, you know, yeah. military grade kind of bag or the green. Look, it's got all the nice pockets. All nice and puffy. Looks cool. Yeah, you know, you can load up all that stuff, right? And she all got the this, cheeks, uh, jumpers, you can load this. it up in there, that's for sure. Now, she asked her where she got this. She got this on Wish, and it was like over like a, around 150 or 170 80 dollars on Wish on sale for 60 60 bucks or yeah, 80 better. bucks. That's better. Wish, yeah. yeah, wish you get things on for really good prices. Now, that's a good size, eh, Joy? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a pretty good size for you. You want to see a good size? <laughs> I'll show Cheeks a good size. Hold on a second. You, you might have to move this bag here. Yeah, I think that the light is uh, attracting the bag, but uh, what, you got something bigger than this, Joey? Oh, my God. Jeez oh. <laughs> Louise. Woo. I got to fix this. Uh, now this bag here has got a whole bunch of stuff in it. And I tell you, this bag is heavy. Oh my God. This bag is probably an easy 50 pounds, if not more. That's crazy. Yeah, it's probably more than 50 pounds. So okay. when I got in here, you're going to love. You're going to love this. So I got uh, Jay's on here. Hey, Jay. Jay says, hi, Liette. Thanks for the invite. Jay says, hi, Lisa. And Liette says, anytime, I'm glad you could join the feed. Yeah, welcome to our uh, outdoor gear survival. products tonight. Survival mode. So, so what good is you got in this massive bag? Got here, you can check it out. Magic Heat. It's a little canister that you can cook anything on. Literally anything you can cook on this thing. And I got like additional like canisters and each canister will last you like between six to eight hours. You can cook soups, you can cook meats, anything you want. Next thing that we have, uh, oh geez, I got more gun holsters, I'm sorry. I'm just I got a ton of gun holsters in this thing. I'm just fixing the green here. So uh, here, blowing out of it. I got my SWAT helmet, bulletproof. There you go. Everything. Cheeks. What do you got going on? I got my. I'm just still lost here. on this magic heat, which is cool. Yeah, check this one out. This is awesome. This is my <laughs> SWAT helmet. <laughs> SWAT helmet. Yep. She's bulletproof. Wow. I actually got a bulletproof mask too. But I didn't. I didn't bring her in this uh, thing. You want to see something really cool? Well, we already had us cool at these. This hat. Look at this. Now there's a. I got gas masks for everyone in my family, ready to go if anything happens, any kind of chemicals, any kind of radiation. This thing will stop Crazy. it. I got the names <laughs> of all my kids on here, and, and everybody's got a different size. I got, you know, I got four different ones. Actually, a couple different ones. You know, uh, smaller ones, uh, bigger ones, you know. any Because you always need to be protected, right? Because you don't, don't know just, what yeah. can be released well, in see, this these, atmosphere. Yeah, these canisters actually are, like, are really good. Like, each canister will last a while. Wow. Maybe. Here we have one of those all-purpose uh, knives. 
Cheeks. Jay just Jay just says, "Hey, bro, great show." And Joey, your bag puts mine to shame. <laughs> Leslie S says that. <laughs> uh, you know that's okay. You know it's it's all good. Everybody buys a bag that's good for what they have, right? So it's all good. And Lisa Lisa says, "I have to get a book bag, a uh, pocket book, and pants that." <laughs> Has a whole bunch of pockets in it. Then I can get mad when I'm looking for something and I can't find what I'm looking for. <laughs> well, you can always borrow my bag here. This one can fit a whole body in it if you want. Yeah, that bag <laughs> was massive. You remember uh, Rambo? So you got these all all purpose utility knives from Rambo. And then, oh yeah, with the and, compass on the top. Yeah, you have the compass on the top. You open it up, and you got fishing line with hooks, the matches, ultimate light, everything. Yeah, the ultimate this is, knife. Yeah, this is yeah. You got, and not just that, you got flint and a sharpener here. And start so, that fire. You know, you you're, for a sec. you're all good there. You go. And you got this knife also. There's a compass. You've probably seen those back in the day. And there's a flint right there. Yep. And uh, this is this is one of my zombie knives. This, zombie this zombie knife. knife is like a really good knife. It's got a great, sh like, you can cut tree limbs with this thing here. You can cut a, nice a pineapple saw. with that one. Oh, you can cut anything you want with this you one. Need you need that at the barbecue, window. right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's awesome. So that's just the top of the bag, people. In We're digging first, into the bag, people. In the first pocket, you know, I got my glow sticks. Those are cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, you just eight. Crack, crack it or shake it. Or... See, the, the thing with glow sticks, when you go with the green ones, you can't tell colors. You can't tell uh, blue from green and yellow from green. You can't tell different colors. So that's why you go with the blue. Blue, you can actually tell different colors. Like if you have to cut a wire, say, in an oh, emergency, so you can see what you you're can doing. Actually, green changes colors. So it's kind of scary, but you still, they're great. You know, they never go bad um, unless they're open. And then look at it. I got a whole whack-a-doodle of matches. You these need, are these are those easy strike matches that you don't you need, need to strike you don't it off like your, your face, your face, the wall, anything you want, right? That's that. And then uh, here we got. Uh, oh, this is like a smoke grenade. So you just pull the tab, and if you have to get away from somebody quickly in emergency, you just light it. You light it up. She smoked. This whole room. Would You're getting all the products off. tonight. <laughs> like uh, oh yeah, like crazy. And then, and then those uh, here, you know, your little fire thing. The, oh yeah, so the little so stove. these are the little additional uh, fuel canisters. So they go in the, here. They go on the bottom of that, yes. And then you light that up, right? And what is that fuel, anyways? What's that? It's uh it says this is safer than gel fuels, indefinite shelf life, longer burn time, six hours of heat. Absolutely. So that's some crazy liquid in there. Yep. I magic got, mini magic heat. matches. I got. Sunglasses. I don't even know why I put sunglasses in there, but you never know when you need them, right? Scientific Utility Brand International. Here's something that Cheeks will actually really like. What is that? These are kind of like ninja claws. Oh, it looks like a grizzly. So what you do is you put them on your hand, right? And if you have to climb a tree or something like that. Run! You there's know? a bear coming! <laughs> you, you, you just... <laughs> They're literally Should, on you. Oh like no, that, I don't have mine. And just and they help you grab like and if you're on a tree or whatever, they yeah. literally like it, they're awesome. Great yeah. protection too. Crazy. So that's first first uh, pouch. Let me show uh, cheeks here what I have in the bottom part. This thing is really big. So More show and tell people. Here you got oh you got a canister, right? And this will hook up on anything you have. Oh, and so walk and drink? Yeah, yes and no. So when you have a gas mask on, you can't really take it off. So what you do is you open it oh. up and you put it through. Now there's the ultimate combo. And you you know, you drink. So that's that's uh this is a great this little attachment awesome. with the hose is actually very expensive, believe it or not, because it's uh, it's it has to match it's fireproof. It's it's unbelievable protection from all the uh, chemicals. So yeah, I got a bunch of them for for everybody. I got wow blankets, you know, extra uh, filters for the gas masks. Well, <laughs> you know, filters. so for literally, no wonder you need a big bag. Literally for for you know for the family. 
uh, one filter will last about 30 to 45 days. Uh, some people will, will like contest to that, but you know, you got mesh net to go over top of your head, Jay, other canisters. Jay says civil war survival kit, LOL. <laughs> You know, like little hats, just stuff that you might need here and there. Yeah, it right? says in the canisters, all pla is the canister all plastic? Uh, canister one plastic. is, one is metal. One's metal and one is plastic. Yeah. Okay, so now let's get to uh, another let's pocket. It's Quickly. getting crazy here. Yeah. So here we got stuff. layer gun. Neat. So, you know, just in case if you need to, you put a popper in, close it, make sure there's nothing in there. Watch out, we're going to pop one. You know, you just <laughs> pop it up, emergency flare. Never know when you need that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. Always could need that. This lidocaine gel. So say you cut yourself and you can't stand bare that or whatever. This, or even like a really, really bad is rash. Is that in the pharmacy? Uh, no, this is medical use. Medical? Medical use. Uh, basically, I got it from my, uh, I have like a first aid uh, special kit, which I'll show you in a little bit. But this, yeah. So say you've got a really bad, bad, like, um, uh, what is that called? The, that you get Firebird? Burn? No, like the, those weeds, um, poison ivy. Poison ivy. You, know, you can get a really bad, right? And you scratch it and it's hurting and it's burning. You put this on, it numbs your skin and it takes the ache away. That'll do the job. You know, you got, you know, you can fill these up, obviously, with whatever you need. You know, I got headlight. For, oh, yeah, to go on your top of your head. head. I got other little flashlights. I have like shampoo, you know, body wash, all the stuff Ultimate that you need. Stuff right yeah. here. Yeah, all the, the stuff they use. Uh, yeah, the drinking canister. Yeah, that's what we we're talking about. And What's that? Jay says, don't try this at home. Don't try what? I guess the uh, clear gun. <laughs> oh right. So see this here, right? Yeah. So here's a here's one that's open. Oh cool. Kinda. Right. So. This is a different one. This is an army style one. Okay. So basically, uh, this is going to be used to, you're going to cook with it. You, yeah. So, like, if you had a can of soup or something and you just, you, because you're not going to have a bowl or anything, you just unscrew this, you turn this on the other side, you light the gel inside there. It comes with the matches and everything. And you just set your can on top or a pot on top or whatever. And she'll cook within like well, it says five six minutes. Six hours burn. You know, this is a different style one. This is a military grade one, right? So here you have uh, a tether for if you're carrying a weapon, you don't want someone coming up behind you taking it. your weapon or whatever. You tether your stuff onto you. It's very uh, be a lot safer and stuff. Cool. Um, you know what this is, right? This is a ring, two rings with with a wire, and it's a diamond wire on it. And you can take a look at it. What is it for? Uh, it's a saw. Oh, it's so a you saw. can cut branches with it. You oh, can, so you can carry a saw with you. You have something. You have something else, right? But it's also a defensive cut weapon, wood, right? Cut supplies for shelter, and you can defense yourself, right? <laughs> I know. Cheeks doesn't like That's that kind crazy. of stuff. That's crazy. Box of matches. Yeah, it says, uh, LOL, good one, Jay. Box of matches. Box of everything you need here. This is a. This is like a, a light. flashlight, right? Uh, Looks like you like put something in it. No, well, so you know how you have a glow stick? Yeah. This one has a whistle, oh. an emergency whistle. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Not like I'm going to need it, but it has another. I have the batteries out right now, but you light this up, and then this lights up like a glow stick, yeah. which is really good. So you can just like, like that, right? Here's a flint. Another flint. Yeah. Always good. Flint, I think, is one of the most important things because you always need fire, heat. And if you and didn't have cook. any matches, right. the flint is your guarantee, right? So here's a uh, um, like a exacto, just a knife? exacto blade with some extra blades because wow. you never know what you're going to need, right? You're out there. You never, know. You never some, know. And when you're ready to go, you're not thinking of these things to pack. So might as well have this stuff all just ready. You know, last second, you're not going to think of this stuff. Um that's uh, the mm -hmm. second or third pouch. Let's get to the bottom because this is the exciting More part here. More stuff. This is actually the exciting part here. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. What did I just drop there? That's okay. All right, cheeks, turn away. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go check out the tent over here. Oh, I'm the dropping the top there. Okay, here we go. Look at this, cheeks. Yeah. I got I got a hundred and fifty foot rope. 
Holy, look at that rope. Right? That's a serious rope. And this here is actually a grappling hook. I was telling Cheeks about it. It's a four-prong grappling hook. You open it up, you, you turn it, you tighten it up, and you just take the end of the rope, and, and literally you can climb anything with the grappling hook. Wow. You never know when you're going to need that. I got another oh rope. You never rope is also very important you never know when you're going to need it this stuff can save lives too if someone falls down something you never know when you're going to need water, it the river so you got i got like over 250 feet of rope this here these things are really cool these little army packs you know what's in it nope to start fires all you have to do is a little tiny spark and this thing will catch on fire and, and it's a fuel tablet and these fuel tablets will last such a long time and keep you warm. It's a different type of heat that comes from this. And it won't spread. Like, you just make a little area and it, is, it's, so it just keeps you warm. Heat, not for cooking. Heat, you can cook also with it. But, you know, I mean, I don't need to. Uh, here's another another thing. Um, like Folding this. stove. Yeah. So it's a folding stove, literally. You can, I'll, I can open it's it. It's just a little more sturdier than this kind of thing. This is, this is fantastic. Here's the folding stove. Look at that. And then you uh, put your you put the, one, like of, the one of these underneath of it. Bada bing, bada boom. And you put your little frying you pan put in there. A pot, something. anything you want, and you're cooking. Your way, you're cooking, right? That's that's really cool. This here. It's it's a it's a grip. It's a, like a seam, seam grip. grip. Yeah, it it will uh, fix backpacks, any kind of rips, any tears. Say I got a rip and tear in this. Uh, just put a little bit on there within like so five it glues minutes. It? Yeah, it glues it tight. These little things are little fire tablets also, and they can get wet or not. It doesn't matter, and you can light them up. So scrap tinder shaving to a pile to light. Yeah, you just yeah. So you have to like move it around and it lights. Wet fire. Wet fire, yeah, yeah. Never know when you need some tape. Got some tape in there. Got lots of these little packets in there. Look at this. Oh, here's your saw. A little portable saw. And this is like. You know, you can get most of this stuff at camping gear places and stuff like yeah, that. You can yeah. just hook that on you, and away you go. This is one of the most important things, even for military, for for camping, for defensive stuff. Your foldable shovel. Foldable shovel, right? Cool. And not just that. You look at the side here, and it's actually made in the military to defend themselves. It's like a hatchet. You can hurt somebody badly to defend yourself shovel your way around this is this thing's got so many uh uses it's not even funny right like it's and it just folds and that's the way you go man. a lot of stuff in that bag and just in this one bag and that's not even i have i have another bag like this too at home so i have like three bags um two that are this size and another one jason's cool stove yeah the stove is actually really really good really good stuff Wow. Let's put this on the floor for now. And then. So that. And then, uh, you know, you also have uh, what the police carry nowadays to defend yourself that, you know, it's not going to hurt you or your kids unless you swing it around and you got one of those collapsible ponds, right? I'm going to show you something. This is old school. What the police used to carry and this is new school now which are better this is obviously stronger the collapsible one they'll break bones in like one swing or whatever this will break bones too but i like this because it protects you and your arm when you need it you know you and can. yeah and you can like get somebody you turn it around and you like get them and like uh, hold them in the neck like that like, now i figured like, out what the uh I got, the know, wrestler I use that. Who? What was his name? Sergeant. No, no, I'm no. That's Sergeant, Sergeant Slaughter. Slaughter. No. no. What's, what's the wrestler's name? What's people? the wrestler that is the police officer? That's what we need to find out. Um. So Essentino's in the house. Hey, Chief hey, and Joey. Santino. So I think that's probably Jewel. Hey, Jewel, how's it going? We got a big crazy show tonight for 
survival gear. So I'm gonna show you one more thing here, uh, survival. You Always can buy a surprise these. around here. These you can buy at like a army surplus store. I'm sure in the States you can buy them a dime a dozen. Out here in Canada, it's a little bit harder to get. I got this out here in Canada. They're called flash bangers. And a lot of... Uh, now what's a flash banger? A lot of police and army uh, SWAT teams and stuff like that use them. So it's to disorientate people. So like say you're trying to get through somewhere and there's no way of getting through that wave and they're looking for you or something. It's not to hurt them. So you just pull the tab and you throw it there and literally I think about between three to five seconds it will literally be so bright and, and deafening that it will disorient the people and it gives you time to get away. You know, it has a little bit of smoke too. And you can, you can actually make it whichever way you want. So it just going to the board. It says, uh, Essentino says, if you could only choose five items out of everything in the bag, what would they be, Joey? What would I take? Five I, things. Definitely the okay. shovel. Definitely Shovel. my gas mask. Gas mask. Um, a gas mask comes with the 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 this. Um, uh, so that's the combo. Here. Yeah. So it, 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 yeah, it's together. You need so to gas drink. Gas mask with that. You need to um, breathe. You need to drink. Okay, we're back, people. Hey, sorry about we that. We just had a oh, blackout. We had a technical we difficulty. Had a, we had a survival blackout, and lucky we were protected with all the gear, and it had a stove. <laughs> I, could cook. I was just about to cook something. Let's see, whose fault was that? <laughs> Somebody didn't plug the computer in, I think, right? Technical. That's why we need technical gear around here. We got lots of stuff going on here. But to get back to your question, and what are the five items I would take mostly out of the thing? I would take that survival knife because it has the fishing hooks, the matches, and and stuff. Compass. So now you got three. Items. I would take that. I would take my my mask. That's right. So you got three uh, items. The shovel. You got so those that. are the yeah, three. One of the three. Uh, what else would I take? I would take my um, rope. Uh, oh, definitely one of the ropes. Yep. Yeah, I would definitely take the rope. You need and, one more thing. Um, uh, flint? And, and no, and I would take no. The flint is actually with the knife, so I don't have to worry about oh, that. So the knife is actually. I and think I, would, that, I think that was your number five. Uh, what knife? That? No, 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 no. That so was. You got one was, more item. No, I no, I don't know. What could I you really grab? There's so many choices here. Food. <laughs> no, the, well, that's uh, that's a different thing. <laughs> Water? But, no. No. Heat? That's in my Stove? canteen. No. I don't know. I don't know the fifth thing. I'm not too sure what I would bring with me. <laughs> There's just so much. You got to pick one. I know. I don't know. I'm not too sure yet. I don't know. There's so much in there. I don't know what I would take with me. I, I probably grabbed the first thing that I came. Well, you probably so, would take some something to light a fire with. But well, I have that with my knife. My anyways, flint. we're. Uh, that so, was a good question, Jewel. Yeah, that and was a good anybody question. Anybody has any questions for this stuff? Please comment here and we'll uh, ask you. Now, if you have any survival gear that you've been stocking up and what is it that you've bought? Let's say ask that question here while we're getting So organized. also, um, you know, with, with all my stuff, uh, I have a green laser, uh, green laser cider that I actually put on my uh, crossbow. And my crossbow is, my crossbow is, I love my crossbow. I would take that over a gun any day of the week and twice on Sundays because you don't need bullets. Yeah, have your uh, Jewel says, uh, hey, Lisa. And Liat says, hey, Jewel. There, Hey, Arie. Estatino says, hey, Clayify. And Jewel, 
you, Liette says, Jewel, you know this is my kind of show. Jewel says, yes, I know, Liette, this is all you. And Liette says, shovel is awesome. Liette says, yeah, the stream was down. We know that, people, and we're back on. <laughs> okay, so, and then what uh, else we got, also Joey? from the U.S. Marine Corps, uh, Close Combat and Hand-to-Hand -hand Fighting, uh, an entire book that shows you everything that they train and how to defend yourselves. How you have that that comes with I, I always keep that in my so lots of good reading material when you're out in the out somewhere oh, definitely. And you're trying to survive. You got a survival got book here that actually tells you what you can eat and what you can't eat in the wild, like what what leaves are what good, mushrooms what not to stay. To eat. Absolutely. No, Don't for eat real. Those mushrooms. It's, it tells you like even fish and lobster, gators, everything and how to trap things, and it's amazing. And then you have another book here. Uh, made for the Department of Defense and the Army uh, is booby traps and how to defend your your campsite and you know how to keep people away and deteriorate deteriorate them and stuff. And must can, have books. This is a must have. And Liet so, says, uh, Liet says, hey, Jay Rumble, I need a ham radio crash course when you have time. You know, a radio, I'm not even too keen on radios. No. Um, because, you know, you wouldn't even have time, and people out there won't even be, half of the people wouldn't even know how to use a CB radio. You know, and you have usually emergency channels, which is 666.6, .6, or you have 999 or 555.5. And those are usually your AM stations, FM, everybody can get. AM usually are local. We have range. a question for you, Joey. Yeah. Uh, Jewel says, Joey, do you watch those survival shows? You know what? I don't. I don't watch those survival shows. I, I've seen I, – I, I can't say I have never watched them. I've seen a couple of them. And, you know, everybody has their own way of surviving and their own way of doing things. Um, I mean, the first thing that I would do if I found a site that I like is doing my shelter. I would actually make a fire pit first and then do my shelter. That's what I would do in that order. You know, and then I and have something. Just keep go on that. Question. So, anyways, um, and then and then what I wanted to show uh, cheeks next is with this bag here, with this little bag. Well, it's not really little. This is a great bag. This is about uh, six, seven hundred dollars. Um, and with this little bag here, I can actually do open heart surgery. I can. I can actually, if somebody has to amputate an arm, I can do that. Uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. This has got everything. I'm going to show you exactly what it has. You have your first aid for soldiers and stuff, how to do uh, special stuff, bullet wounds, how to clean them, how to save you, collapse lungs, stuff like that. It's amazing. Then you have this one, the U.S. Army Special Forces Medical Handbook. And I mean, anything and everything is in this. Top surgeons in the world use If you this study kind of that stuff. book. I you can, would probably learn something. Oh, you have to <laughs> learn something. But with this right here, I can guarantee you even a lot of surgeons nowadays, they, so, probably, I they think, probably do yeah, use asking, a lot of things. Like where's that. your walkie-talkies? Now, I found these little <laughs> ones. I know. Would these work in the field? Um, maybe where's your base to it, though? <laughs> no See, base. You it's need just, a base. They're just for communicating. Yeah, I understand that. But you, then if they're just for communicating, they only have probably about a 500-foot range. So I have some other ones, but I guess they're, uh, if you had a few people, it's nice to communicate with you have to go out of range. So let me just show you this here, Geeks. Yeah. What you get with this, so like I said, um, you know, this is like around everything. And I put a few extra things in here, but... The most this is part, one expensive bag. Yeah, it's about seven hundred dollars uh, with taxes, I think, in total. I mean, you get these are instant cool packs, which are great to have. You know, you just smash it, and it's it goes like freezer cold so fast. And it's and crunchy it's, bag, right? Because there are beads in there. Yeah, yeah, and it, it goes around. You have uh, all my stuff in here are, is sterilized, and they all come in packages already. And they're all sterilized. This is a gown. And then also within the gown, it has a lap sponge so with a little cut in it so that if you have to do surgery, there's a real, ready a hole there that you have to just open up. And that's, you know, it's, it's amazing. Wow. You get a box of bandages, you know, uh, <laughs> just uh, like Q-tips, cotton tips. They're not good like enough, that. right, Liat? So Liat says no cheeks. Those aren't good enough. Yeah, that's not are, good enough? Those are our toy, no, our little toy handy. Walkie-talkies. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. 
So, and then that's just the one little pouch. On the second one, this one's really cool. You know, I actually used a few things on, on the other one, but look, look at this. Look at the size of these. That? 12 inches by 30 inches. Dressing. Trauma dressing. This is for like major trauma. Ooh. You know, if, if somebody like had like a knife. major head trauma or Ooh. something like that. And then here is your surgical little thing that actually, they actually use this in, in the hospitals. You can see the tweezers in here. There's scalpels in here. There's really? a suture kit. This is a medium sponge. Uh, thing that actually has iodine wow. and stuff ready to clean the wound before you do your operation. Uh, in the next one here, we have this is this is this is great because it's not even that heavy. You have petroleum jelly, you have your um, medical scissors, tapes, uh, tweezers, extra knives like uh, scalpel knives with different with different blades on them. You have. Uh, uh, what are these called? The syringes, like uh, sterile syringes to clean wounds with. You have a whole yeah. bunch of these uh, wet wipes, which they're not just to clean your hands or anything. With You have uh, gloves and stuff, uh, and fingertip gloves. But these wipes, some of them have iodine on them to clean uh, and prep for wow. iodine. Some of them are to de- uh, that's uh, so you need Joey with you if you're out, <laughs> out in the gang. You have the, tons woods, of gauze, you'll be protected. You, you have, have a medic a tourniquet, medic is will be there. Yeah, gauze like no tomorrow, pill bottles. Jewel and says, I have actually pills at home. Jewel says, Wow, amazing survival kit! Not just that, you have your stethoscope, right? Here you have this right here is awesome. I love this thing. What here. is that? So, this here, if you break your arm. And we reset his arm. We just need water from somewhere. Find water, put this in the water, wrap it up quickly. Within 10 minutes, it turns hard as a rock, and you got a presto cast. It's awesome. awesome. You got two of those in this thing. You got lots of gauze. I actually had to open one up for uh, my child one time because I couldn't have, I didn't have any gauze at home. This is really cool. Here's uh, some uh, tension uh, band. Are these the tensor bandages? Or oh yeah, the no, these one. ones are the big tensor bandages. They come with it. And more gauze. And this is what I also like here is that look at this. They give you a pack of twelve mini pre-wrapped all sterile little tensor bandages for maybe your wrist or your thumb or your cool. finger or whatever. You know, really cool. Um, I'm not too sure what this one was for. I can't remember. In, uh, uh, it's a it's a type of needle or something. Oh, I remember. So, if you if you if you have a collapsed lung oh, or something, geez. and you need to uh, I get queasy find a way just to <laughs> yeah, so just to puncture and and stuff. That's what that's for. Here we have eye wash container. Nice. We have uh, multi uh, multi trauma dressing, uh, very sterile already. It's. Uh, you know, just extra extra ones here. Twelve by thirty. It's pretty yeah, good. here uh, you have multiple size of bandages for just regular little cuts and stuff like that. Here's a sling for your broken arm or whatever. Another sling. Um, here you got calamine lotion for the poison ivy, bug bites, poison ivy, whatever you need. You have uh, what is this one here? This is uh, gauze swipes. Oh, these little things. Yeah, they. I think there's like a hundred of them in this little bag Gosh. here, little gauze. That's crazy twist. stuff in there. Sanitizer, you know. And then in the last one here. More. Here we got. Um, <laughs> so, you know, smelling sauce and stuff yeah. to wake somebody up or whatever. Wake me up. So you got a, quite a few of them in here. You got lip protection stuff. Uh some special i'm not too sure what this i think this is a job like no yeah. yeah so if you're actually had to operate on somebody these are to hold you open Ugh. so yeah that's <laughs> more gauze there this is really cool this is a padded aluminum splint so say he we didn't have any more of the cast stuff to put on you so you put this and it it's because it's aluminum, your arm is not going to bend and and oh, your arm is okay. not going to – so you put this on, wrap it with the uh, tensor bandage, and then just put it in the sling, and you're pretty much safe with this one here, which yeah. is really cool. Lots of gauze, lots of gauze. Always need lots of gauze because, you know what, gauze runs out quickly, one-time use on the gauze and stuff. This is really cool. 
This is a uh, it's a uh, many first burn uh, uh, pump spray. Uh, this is just another syringe. Um, but this one here. So if you burn yourself on a fire uh, or you you have a it also works on cuts, but mostly on burns to take away the pain from the burn. And if you spray yourself yeah. quick enough with this, your burn won't blister, which is really cool. And I can't find this at any pharmacy. I can't find that. I can't find this anywhere except for in this kit. So this must be a, a real like first aid emergency kit. It's really awesome. And I think it's totally worth another big gauze. This here is totally worth the money. I would just uh, make sure I had at least a bandage. <laughs> so that's what you get in there. Do I have a bandage in there? And, oh, no, I don't. And it's really <laughs> easy to carry. You can you can have a shoulder strap on it, or you can put it on your backpack. And you know this is that's what that is, man. That's uh, I think it's fantastic for for that price. It's worth it. You know, that and you can, you can probably get it cheaper. You can probably get it for like four or five hundred bucks now. But right. I got this a long time Definitely, ago. Definitely, I think people should consider having a, at least a good first aid kit. Uh, at least, yeah, something that right. has gauze. You never know. You never know what you're going to need. Ultimate medical bag. This is definitely one of the ultimate ones. Yeah. Now, after all this medical craziness that you're just showing, if you're it's hungry. A, it's snack time. It's snack time. It's time on Product Patrol. Cheeks, so, what do you got for us well, today? I'm going to show you the, the snack of the night. So and then I'll show you my snack. Yes, yeah, so at least this thing here, because I'm pre -hall like past Halloween here, but, uh, you know, I had a crunch bar. And have you had a crunch bar for a while? I had. Well, no, I haven't had it for a while. Yes, no. sweet crunch. But, now, uh, these are light. You can put them in the backpack. So... You know, that could probably <laughs> keep you going for a few days if you had a few of these. Oh, if you There's need, rice in it. You know what I like? And something that I have, I really do have in my uh, other bags at home, in my nutrition bags. I, I have protein bars, however, because they're they're good for up to five years. But eat more bars. Oh, yeah. Eat more bars helps. are exactly like protein bars, and they last for five years. People don't like, like they're – they kind of lose the thing, but they can still be good up to five years later, believe it or not, even past their expiry date. Well, you need protein. They just get a little bit hard. Not a big deal. Now, fun fact here. Oh, Joey, right. Can you guess, is there protein in this Nestle Crunch Bar? There is. I believe there is. Now, how many grams of protein do you think is in this bar? That I don't know. I'm going to say about maybe six grams. Three, gram, three to six grams. Well, it's only rice. So the rice is the protein. Two grams, not much. Oh, so I was three. I said three to six, so two. Okay. But when you need to eat, it's better than nothing. So well, that's pretty the, cool, the man. Rice, yeah. Rice. It's actually cool this far. It's nice, uh, light chocolate with rice, and it's crunchy and yeah. No, go for it. Make a piece. Look, it even <laughs> says, look, it even has the crunch name on it. <laughs> yeah. <Cool. laughs> It's, I thought it was rubber at first. I thought he was tricking me. <laughs> yeah, they're gag chocolate. It's not really chocolate. <laughs> now, I'll tell you something, Cheeks. Mm -hmm. What is something that you Cheeks would take? What is something that you would take with you at the end of the world that would be valuable enough to trade people for? Uh, probably Tylenol. Hmm. That's a good. That's actually pretty good. I was gonna say any kind of good drug bandages, bandages. some kind of drug that takes pain away. You know, like in, if you can get your hands on an OxyContin or Percocet, and somehow you just stash that away. That has a shelf life of like three, four years, but they still work up to ten years later. Just a delayed effect. So if you're with your your survival bag that you were showing before, mm -hmm. there's got to be some food in there. Oh, you want to see snack time? She wants to see some snack. What do you have for survival food, Joy? Come on, MREs Ooh. meals ready to Ooh, eat. Yeah, straight from the military. This, ain't... this one is pork rib. Pork ribs. Not just that. We have. If you're a vegetarian, those are huge bags. I didn't think they're, I thought there'd be like a little pack. Number and 13. You just open it. It makes so, water. No, no. So, number two is pork rib. Number 13, this is for vegetarians. This is a cheese tortilla or tortillion vegetarian. Tortellini. 
tortellini. Oh, okay. Cheese sorry. tortellini, Veg vegetarian. 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 Beef stew. And this one's beef stew. I'm yeah. not going to open them now because it has a shelf yeah, so life of about 25 years. Okay, so in one of these, you can see that it's kind of like square, and some of them don't need to be. But so in one of these, you have this little bag um, that I, I don't know what is in it, but what's to the cook numbers? your meal? It says 13. This one cook. says six. Yeah, each meal is that number. So in the box, when you get the boxes, is that they nine or six? That's a nine. The line is under up the that's the bottom okay. line. It says nine. <laughs> so basically it cooks your meals right in here, and your meals are ready to eat. And it's a full course meal. Like so you don't a, need the stove. You need nothing. You open this bag, and you're, you're eating cooking. from the bag, it's already cooking in there, and it gets hot. Like you put your hand inside of that one bag inside it, it gets so hot. So that feed like a family of four or just no, you? This is this is a one person meal. That's lots that's, big for a one piece of meal. Yeah. Like now really a family of four, if you're starving to death, this could probably feed a family of four if you're stretching your meals. Like, you, there's no food out there, nothing. I bet you this could feed – like, you, you can survive for three days without food, right? But you need water. However, mm -hmm. this if you're, if you're going to those extremes, one of these will probably feed four people. And it, does, it just doesn't have that, and it has – it has full like snacks and stuff um, on the box. I have a, a sheet that tells you what's actually in it. Uh, so it says flameless uh, ration. ration heaters are prohibited on commercial airlines. Commercial airlines sealed in Unless original. sealed in original bag. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. And uh, so some of them that I have, the other ones, That's they actually one tell you. bag too. Yeah. So these ones are the U.S. Uh, government property commercial resale is unlawful. So, However, but you don't sell these uh, individually. Can you, where can you buy boxes. these? Army can surplus you buy these stores. anywhere? Absolutely. You can buy them at Army surplus stores anywhere in Canada and in the States. However, in Canada, they are sold out of them, like all over the place. One box is like $250. Crazy. Sold out. $300, $500, it is nuts. And you get a package of, I think, 25 in one box. Uh, and then there's another box that is a little bit bigger and stuff. So each box just, varies. And you don't know what meals you're going to get in them. They give you a list, but you don't know which meals you're going to get. It's not a number 1 to 25. You don't know which numbers are going to actually be in there. I have one at home that's cheese and macaroni. I have another one that like, eggs and bacon. No, you don't know which But there was number. a number on or no number? Yeah, there's numbers on every one. But you don't know what the number means. Uh, well, is there a yeah, guide? no, no, there is a, yeah, there's, there's a, guide. a universal guy. Yeah. There's a, there's a number. So I know that, one. uh, like you could say at Costco, they had those big pails of like a big kit for dried food. You add water. Yeah. And those are even hard to find. But, yeah. uh, I know that the most common food that you could use for these survival kits is like oatmeal. Cause I guess they're packaged. They last a long time. Yeah. And then just have lots of like beef jerky. Beef jerky. Yes, absolutely. I dried, have that. dried food was well smack packed. I have beef lots of beef jerky in my in my survival kit, right? That, we that's a love must. beef jerky. That's a must for me. Beef jerky is a definite must for me. Water, dry food, medical, first aid, survival, and weapon. You need, yeah, you need weapons of some sort, right? So let me show you here something else. One last thing that I have here, cheeks. Okay. Like uh we're going deep now people we are going deep here uh so in this here i have more knives I oh love, i love my knives <laughs> you know i got all these knives uh sent to me here in canada from the states i actually buy a lot of them from uh, uh the cutlass corner crazy uh, yeah it's really cool uh this knife cool is one knife. of my favorite knives. It has a thumb holster. It has a butt end to, you know, and it has a rubble, rubble, uh, rubber handle, and it's, wow. it's unbelievable. Like, read what it says on there. It says the Alabama Slammer. Alabama Slammer. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. I got patches from different uh, places. 
I got sniper, major league sniper patches. I got uh, the patches for uh, one of the uh, militias. I have another one that says special forces mess with the best, die like the rest. <laughs> you just like that. <laughs> it actually goes on my hat that I have in my survival now, uh, thing. What is it here? Jewel says, wow, pretty pricey. Have you tried eating Pricey one? They have those MREs. Oh, the MREs. Yeah, they are. They, have you tried eating one? Expensive. Yeah, you've, you've had one, you said. I have had How one. How was the yeah. taste? And what was it? The um, cheese and macaroni you had? No, I had the lasagna one. And? The, it, was, it was great. Great. It was fantastic, man. And I'm a picky eater. Too. Wow, there you go. It tasted great. Now, I have I have eggs and bacon. And I would I don't like eggs, so that would be something that maybe I might even bring over here one day, and uh, Cheeks can uh, do a show on opening it up because and I don't like the eggs. Lisa says Cheeks in the ad. Would you like to know if you got the message sent about the t-shirt and everything? Yeah, we got it, and we're working on it for you, Lisa. All good. And Lisa says, and to add what I said to me, yes. <laughs> Here's something that. Like I act a lot and I got this off a movie set. However, you know, if you were a major diehard uh, gun enthusiast, this is a case that you would have with your guns and stuff. Like this is not a real gun, people. You know, it, you just, it, however, I mean, it, They're it's blanks. like a real gun. These are all blanks. Movie props. Movie prop blanks in them. They don't have bullets. They just have, but they are... Uh, they could probably scare someone off just the same, you know. You just and now she's loaded, you know. It's uh, that's something that great show and tell tonight, everybody. Uh, a cool surprise tonight, Joey bringing out some cool stuff. Everyone's probably overwhelmed right now. If you have questions before we go, now's the time to ask Joey. I got the little mini women gun here, too, the one that they used in James Bond that the woman actually put in her. Garter, that's really cool. They actually are very loud, so loud, it's crazy, crazy loud. But uh, one day, one day, I will have my real ones. And uh, but uh, when that day comes, hopefully, uh, you know, we're not at the end of the world or anything like that. But uh, yeah, well, that was a uh, crazy survival gear. And everyone's probably just awesome. That one huge here. bag. So, so if you now if you you see this bag, <laughs> you're <laughs> cheeks. You make me laugh. <laughs> you might need a bigger bag. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, like and that's a good stuff thing. that I have on mine. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Here's also another um, improvised uh, munitions handbook. So this actually tells you how to make gunpowder, how to make a gun out of just like some uh, piping that you find in the house. So say the world, end of the world happened, you don't have a gun or you don't know where to get a gun. This book here tells you how to make a gun out of like, um, uh, like a copper pipe in your house with like drain stuff and how to make gunpowder wow. with just the stuff in your house. It's crazy. Now, before we wrap it up, is there any final words on this stuff? Is that we're going to move on to uh, our next segment. Any final words? What do you mean? For this stuff? Or we're, anything else? Is that all? all you the know goodies? what? That was a lot. You'd be safe because, you know, obviously you have to – it's it's not – they're not toys, a lot of this stuff, right? And a lot of the stuff is, you know, dangerous. So whoever's watching, just be safe with what you have and I mean, be careful. What do we have there? Wrapping up here. So, Cheeks, what do we have? Um, tell me. Have? Is that what you're saying, Cheeks? That's crazy. You know it. Boy, this Cheeks is funny. I don't know where this Cheeks came from, but oh, Look at that cheeks, that cheeks right there. Look at that cheeks, cheekies. <laughs> Hi, cheeks. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. Ah. Uh, cheeks, what do you have for us? 
Oh, people, people, cheeks, people. Cheeks, one people. cheeks, two cheeks, three. What do we have? So anyways, just uh, coming up on Sunday, we have our new video that's coming out. And mm -hmm. what do we have? Well, if you had an old hat like this, winter hat, right? Time to upgrade. Uh -huh. So just a little more stylish. Right. So uh, this is a beanie. I'm going to take my glasses off. It's a beanie. It has this a like a in the beanie top. in hat. Scarf set, meaning in scarf oh, set. Oh, so I'm going, I'm going a little else. bit modern, so I'm like keeping my neck warm. Hmm. This is from a Rooney, and if mm -hmm. you needed winter gloves, right, right. some nice uh, cool gloves, right, 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 which right. serve a purpose, uh -huh. right, cheeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, let me get my glasses back on here. All right, so I'm prepared. So it's got these got like uh, imitation. Actually, this is like imitation wool here, which is nice. But it's nice and warm, right? Keep your neck. It's got stylish set here from a Rooney. <laughs> and these gloves actually, you can tap your phone on it. <gasps> so in the winter time, <laughs> cheeks is always <laughs> like you say like crazy when it comes to all these products. Right? <laughs> tap your phone with your glove. I don't know if you've seen this. Isn't that crazy? So, yeah, so coming up on uh, Sunday, check out the video. <laughs> we had some fun with the video. You know, big fun product review is here, right? So there you have it. If you got to stock up on some uh, holiday stuff or for the winter, check out these gloves. Check out the hat. And more stuff coming up on Product Patrol the following week. we got some more winter gear. You're getting too excited, Cheeks. <laughs> so if anybody has any other questions... And are we going to be heading out? Anthony says, what's the book called? Oh. Which book? I, I'm not sure what the book is he's talking about. But uh, Which book, which book are you talking about? Welcome, Anthony uh, Polanco, to the, the feed. Welcome to Product Patrol. Welcome, Anthony. Which book are you talking about? Because there's quite a few books. If you're talking about the survival ones. Uh, Maybe it was uh, a survival book. The booby trap ones. Or I don't, I'm not too sure. It, it, was it the last book? If it was the last book, uh, just and let me know. Lisa says, hello, Anthony P. So, we got, yeah, we can show the books again. We've got quickly. a lot of uh, different books, booby trap ones, survival ones. we got uh, close combat and hand-to-hand -hand fighting from the U.S. Marine Corps. I think it's probably like the, these books you're probably not going to find anywhere. Is they're hard to find. Oh, right? oh yeah, yeah. No, he's these, probably thinking these maybe books, you could find these. But. Uh, no, these books are actually uh, straight out of the military, and uh, unfortunately, I don't think you can find these books. It, it, you might be able to, maybe at a survival surplus store, maybe at an army surplus store or something. They might even have it. I'm not too sure. They, if they do have it, they'll have a lot of redaction in them. So I, I've actually seen them in the surplus stores where you open up the book. And if you don't know what redacting means, what they do is they'll they'll turn to something and you know if it's illegal in that country to say make gunpowder or something that it'll all be blacked out except for the and you know it was you know so a lot of it will be redacted. Um, but to find these books are are very very difficult unless you know somebody who's in the military or army or Marine Corps or you know whatever. But uh, Check out Army Surplus Stores. It is possible that you can find older versions mm. in those places. But the best one, I think, is the survival one because it tells you uh, if you were to just have to leave really quickly, that would be one of the most important books, this one right here, because of the fact that it shows you how to make traps, how to trap animals, what to eat, how to prepare things, how to cook things, how to, you know, you can eat certain grass, you can eat certain plants, you can eat certain trees and bark. And this tells you, and it also tells you what's poisonous and what not to eat. And it, the good thing also tells you, if you did eat something that was poisonous, it tells you how to like either vomit it up or how to get it out of your wow. system quickly. So yeah, it has a, it's one of my favorite books, the FM 2176. So Awesome. Well, there you have it, everybody. We got a little survival stuff, a little a lot of survival stuff tonight. Overwhelming. Well, thanks, Joy, for those crazy products. And, you know, check out the uh, video on Sunday. And also, don't What's forget to Sunday? comment, like, and subscribe. What's the Sunday video? Sunday video is the winter gear. Oh, that's cool. We got some winter stuff here. Can't wait to see that one. It? <laughs> I know. It's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> 
Joey, <laughs> were you in that one? No, I don't think you were in that one, oh, Joey. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> ah! Ah! Anyways, uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe here. Appreciate your support. And everybody, we're, get, we're ending now. See you later. Have a great weekend. Live life without cheers. And cheeks out. Cheeks out. Joey Leo out. Survival out. Survival out. Oh my god. Hold on a second before we go out. Survival. Let me just get ready. The gas mask. It's coming. <laughs> Where's your water? Yeah, and I haven't had the, I haven't hooked that up yet. Come on, man. It was like a split second decision. <laughs> Anyways, cheers. Take it easy.